So I'm very happy to have with me uh, Sasha Giglioni, who is the head of Prime Computer, uh, uh, IT company uh, based in uh, Switzerland, who's here at the NOAA conference where startups are meeting with investors and hopefully they find good relationships and uh, support uh, these uh, transformations uh, of, of sustainable solutions to, to major challenges facing our world. Um, so Sasha, um, tell me, what, why are you here at NOAA? What are, what are you actually showcasing? What are you going to be talking about? Yeah. So I think it's underestimated how much CO2 emissions actually can be reduced through ICT and how much contribution to um, eliminating uh, waste uh, in ICT is, is actually happening. And I think this can be displayed well in, in my pitch tomorrow, but obviously I am also looking for getting a, a greater network and we're looking to, uh, for funding for, for our scale up situation yeah. currently, yes. So currently, what kind of offerings do you have in terms of sustainable uh, uh, IT? Obviously, okay. Yes, we are helping companies and governments reach their digitization and environmental goals while it's actually reducing their total cost of ownership. So basically we do that by uh, designing, manufacturing, and assembling um, IT hardware, which is uh, completely made of recycled uh, aluminum, which uh, saves up to 80% energy cost. And uh, we are a 100% climate neutral company, which means scope one, two, and three. We show it is possible already today, not having any pledges for 2030 or 2070 like India, we can do it today. Right. And you obviously, uh, and I know you're not gonna Give me all the details but you're going to be expanding your product range uh across other forms of devices uh which is the big news that you're going to announce tomorrow and that you're looking for backing for that uh so i, I maybe we won't go too far but um i mean I, we were just talking a little bit earlier i mean if i uh, had a, a a personal computer and i you know decided to move it off the table and and uh, buy a, a prime computer pc there are definite emission reductions from that device, yeah? Yes, yes, indeed, absolutely. So um, just as an individual person, you would uh, already, our concept is avoid, reduce, and compensate, right? That's how you get climate neutral in all, and this should be the way, not just buying those carbon credits on the market, and then this is not the right way. This is not where we should go. We always should have the, the sustainability and design aspect at the beginning. So we avoid already up to 50% in the product itself compared to a other Standard, brand, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes, you're, you're right. So already uh, only this year we launched three new products and on the roadmap we have six more next year, including right. uh, a, a little bit more special one uh, where the market is going after. Right, right, right. Good, so let's um, look at uh, perhaps, you know, what could, what could drive this transformation of your business even faster? Is it just simply investment or are there, are there government policies that, that could make things go, go faster? Um, uh, wh where do you see the landscape shifting in your favor and, and therefore in the sustainable IT area uh, going forward? Yes, so I think that this, this decade itself, right? So we, we, we have this conference here. We know this is a decade of action and of climate action. And this is why I'm happy that we have this decade, finally. Mm -hmm. um, so this in general, the time, the movement, this changes and brings us closer. What we are looking forward and how we can accelerate that is through people itself. Mm -hmm. So through a shift in mindset, a mindset which everybody actually should have, that you can um, do the right thing and it can be profitable or it should actually help yourself and not doing the bad thing, harming yourself. Mm -hmm. And yes, investment helps us to scale. That's one thing reach the other one. So I'm really looking forward to a potential partnership because we don't have time also next year. Right. This would be really, really good. And on the other side, I think it's the people. At the end, there is no business to business. There's no business to consumer. It's always human to human. Mm -hmm. And I think if um, the right connected uh, person in the organization, but also in the network, mm -hmm. in the community, then we can achieve mm -hmm. what we want to. Mm -hmm. And uh, just lastly, I mean, you are, uh, you start off with a certain number of uh, business phrases, markets, countries where you're operating in. You've expanded, I think, recently into the Nordic region. Is that right? Yes, correct. So we're really happy um, and a little bit <clears throat> bad that we did that, did that already earlier because yeah. we know the Nordics, especially Sweden, is far ahead on the mindset of sustainability. And this is why I'm really happy that uh, two months ago we entered the market. We're going to announce a, a bigger thing in coming in January and February. 
And um, yeah, so I love going there, um, grew up my network. I actually proposed to my wife in Stockholm wow. so many years ago. So I have a really good deep connection to Sweden. <laughs> yes, indeed. So Sasha, last question, really. We, we um, you know, we were broadcasting, uh, and in fact, indeed, you were uh, on uh, one of our shows uh, from the UN Climate Conference in, in Glasgow. And uh, we took the numbers that had been issued by the International Monetary Fund, so rigorous <clears throat> numbers on the number of uh, dollars being spent uh, around the world by governments on fossil fuel subsidies, I think is a way of shocking people how much was actually being spent. Uh, and we had this counter running up through, through Glasgow. We've now got a new counter on how much governments are spending on fossil fuel subsidies, which is since Glasgow. And it's, uh, I don't know, we can see it over here, yeah. It's yeah. now, since he, even since we started this morning, it's gone up <laughs> here. It's now 582 billion dollars and more and counting um i mean that's a lot of money and it, it could do a lot for a lot of people do a lot of good i mean i think the time has come to face it we need to phase out uh, uh, phase down phase out uh, whatever the term is uh, fossil fuel subsidies is it, yes. a level playing field sasha look i i, I fully it. agree i uh, sorry my language i think it's nuts that we keep on doing that yeah uh, and and then don't come up with the money to actually help all the solutions we have yeah but keeping on subsidizing that i know it's not so easy it should be easy not always easy mm -hmm. because also for instance african countries etc which have not the same opportunity as um, richer countries in europe mm -hmm. or uh, in the western part of the world but yeah we should absolutely phase that out not mm -hmm. just down you're right mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I think that, I mean, there was a huge campaign by the UN and also we don't have time, why don't choose extinction? Mm -hmm. uh, why are we keep on doing choosing yeah. extinction? Right? So yes, I can only support that. And Super. one thing that should accelerate that is a real CO2 tax on all the aspects and not just $20 or $50. It should yeah. be everybody that has a lot of CO2 contribution should pay for that. Yeah, a real proper price on carbon. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Sasha, for your time. I hope it all goes well here at NOAA and, and you get what you need to, uh, to go further and faster. Thank you so much, Nick.